Good evening, everybody. Happy Tuesday. This is uh, Jason Tierney, and I've got my esteemed co-host here, Mark Fowler. Mark, say hello. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for being here. We're excited, pumped, jazzed, uh, amped to have this opportunity to have Mark here. We get a lot of questions at DS3 about marketing. And oftentimes we ask the, the dental practice what they mean when they're asking about marketing. And frequently they can't articulate exactly what they're talking about. They just know that they wanna drive new patients into the practice. And in some ways it's an art, and in many ways this is a science. And it's really, it's not unlike uh, building a skyscraper, taking a plane, uh, flying a plane, you know, there are manuals that you can follow that will give you a step-by-step -step process. And everyone on this call is capable and competent of doing this on their own, but is it the best use of your time? And the answer there is probably not. So we've got Mark with us tonight and Mark is going to share a lot of that art and that science so that all of you, uh, have some some foundational knowledge about how digital marketing works in a dental sleep practice, what it can do for a practice like Dr. Mark Williamson in Flushing, Michigan, uh, who attended the 2017 North American Dental Sleep Medicine Symposium down in Clearwater. He met Mark there when Mark was a speaker and in 2017, Dr. Williamson treated uh, somewhere around 15 or 16 patients with oral appliance therapy the entire year. He started using Bullseye Media, Mark's firm, and uh, implementing a dedicated dental sleep medicine program. And by December of 2018, so basically about a year and a half later, he was treating 24 patients per month. So he was doing significantly more in a month than he had done in a previous year. So with that said, Mark, I appreciate uh, everything you've done for DS3 members for marketing and everything that you've taught me and appreciate the opportunity for you to uh, share your knowledge and experience with the attendees tonight. So thank you. Well, thank you, Jason. I appreciate that, and I'm I'm excited to be able to uh, to share some of these ideas and s some of what's working. And um, so, in our time together this evening, we're going to walk through a three-step process to effectively brand and position your sleep practices for success. And I'll be showing you examples of what's working right now for successful sleep practices across the country. And, but before we jump in, I thought it may be helpful just give you a very short overview of my background as it relates to marketing and sleep apnea. Um, I received a marketing degree in, degree in 1992, uh, spent the next 14 years working in marketing and business development for two different Fortune 500 companies and a Silicon Valley uh, Inc. 5000 technology company. And then I founded Bullseye Media in 2006. Within a couple of years, uh, we were working exclusively with dental practices, helping them with websites, branding, digital marketing, et cetera. And about five years ago, while I was doing research and writing some content for a client of ours who wanted to focus on treating patients with sleep apnea, the light bulb went on, and I realized that I had many of the symptoms that I was reading about. Waking up exhausted after sleeping for eight or nine hours, poor memory, bruxism, acid reflux, et cetera, et cetera. And since that time, I've researched the topic of sleep apnea, interviewed dental sleep experts, attended countless lectures on sleep disorder breathing, and have personally used CPAP, three different oral appliances, a combination CPAP oral appliance device, a tongue stabilizing device, and had nasal surgery. So. I am all in on the topic of sleep apnea, both personally and professionally. And uh, I'm excited to be able to combine my love of marketing and my personal experience with sleep apnea and share some things with you over the next 50 or so minutes that I hope will enable you to treat more sleep patients, literally saving lives, and in the process, create a sleep practice that can either be a profitable complement 
to your general practice, or perhaps like many of our clients, allow you to sell your general practice and focus exclusively on sleep if that's your goal. So when it comes to the potential uh, with dental sleep, you've probably heard the statistics. One in five adults has some level of obstructive sleep apnea. About 80% of those are undiagnosed. CPAP has a failure rate somewhere north of 75%. Uh, the latest number I heard on oral appliance therapy is that it only makes up about 10% of the OSA treatment market. Is that, is that about the number yeah, you, that, you hear, Jason? That, that, that's a high estimate. But okay. let's go with 10%. We'll, we'll go with uh, aspirational figure. <laughs> All right. And as a dentist, you are the best positioned healthcare provider to educate, screen, and treat this epidemic. Um, you know, most of your patients see you more often and spend more time with you than any other healthcare professional. And unlike every other provider that's treating sleep, you're able to offer an alternative to CPAP. So let's quantify the potential a bit more by, by looking at some Google search data. Um, here you see that for the search term sleep apnea, Wait, there Mark, are, an, Mark? yes, yes. I'm sorry, just real quick, what, what is Google? Uh, Google is a large search engine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Sorry, sorry, thank you though for the, <laughs> helping me clarify that. Um, so there are an average of a little bit over 300,000 searches each month on Google for that term sleep apnea and the average cost per click is two dollars and eight cents so in other words each time someone clicks on an ad tied to that search term the practices that are bidding on that term pay a little over two dollars okay then CPAP has about a, as a third as many searches each month and the cost per click is four dollars and 28 cents and then snoring with just over 40,000 searches and an average cost of a dollar 83. For comparison, dental implants receives about 90,500 searches per month and the cost per click is over $13. Because the Google Ads platform is an auction-based system, this tells us that there are a lot more people bidding on dental implants than are bidding on those other sleep-related search terms. And the bottom line of all this is there are a lot of people searching for information and relief from sleep breathing issues the cost to reach them online is relatively low, and there's significantly less competition than most dental services. And that is the definition of an ideal target market or, or niche. You, you almost couldn't create a more ideal scenario. Sure. L low, less competition, uh, lower prices. I mean, the, the uh, barrier to entry there is non-existent. That's right. That's right. So, you know, there, there was a popular business book uh, that came out a few years ago called Blue Ocean Strategy, actually several years ago now. Uh, but the premise of the book is that businesses can succeed by creating or, or capturing blue oceans of uncontested market space, as opposed to doing battle in red oceans where competitors are fighting it out, right, o o over, the, over the scraps. And the analogy being that an ocean full of vicious competition turns red with blood. So the idea is you want to find those blue oceans where there's less competition and dental sleep is the blue ocean, at least for now, as, as more dentists realize the potential uh, with dental sleep, it'll become more competitive just as we've seen with other lucrative dental services over the years. But there's an opportunity for you that while every other dentist in your market is, is fighting it out, chasing implants and cosmetic procedures, saying the same things to the same audience and continuing to drive up the cost of advertising, there's a window of opportunity for you to target dental sleep patients. So the potential for dental sleep is huge and now is the time to grab market share and position yourself as the expert in your area. And I'm going to walk you through a blueprint that'll help you tap into that potential. Um, you know, having worked with dozens of dental practices, from those who are just getting started treating sleep patients to some of the highest producing sleep practices in the country, it's become evident that two things are required in order to maximize the growth of a dental sleep practice. First, 
you must have an effective direct to patient marketing strategy in place so that you aren't overly dependent on referrals from physicians. Many dentists who get involved in sleep think that oh, they can just get some local physicians, some ENTs, pulmonologists, et cetera, to refer sleep patients to them, they'll be all set. However, it can take years to develop those relationships and the referrals can be sporadic. And even those dentists who have been at this for years and have a strong referral network in place still utilize direct to patient marketing in order to diversify their new patient sources. And the second thing that we've learned is that you need a brand identity for sleep that's separate from your general dental practice. And there are a few reasons uh, that that separate brand identity is important. First you know, Mark, is, Mark, yes. Mark, if you don't mind, you before, you, before you launch into that, mm -hmm. at, what, at what point should a dentist start with a direct-to-patient marketing, uh, dental sleep marketing initiative? Mm -hmm. I mean, where, yeah, we're, where in their career? Yeah, that, that, well, that's, that's a, so I was going to say we're, we're going to kind of walk through that kind of the stages of building that marketing strategy, but it's in terms of where in their career, I, and I'm sure you, you've seen this at, at DS3, we, we talk to doctors who are two years out of school, just opened their first practice, and they're gung-ho. And then at the other end of the spectrum, and this is probably, we probably see more of these, is the doctor who's at the tail end of their general dental career, and they're looking for something new, something different, a new challenge, something that's less taxing on them physically, and something that they can do longer, you know, further into the future uh, when, when they just physically cannot do general dentistry any longer. So, that's kind so of what you're right. Yeah, so direct patient marketing is is really uh, indicated pretty much at any time, and then it just becomes a matter of uh, that building a, the the separate standalone brand. Yes, that's that's kind of step one that we're going to talk about get, getting that brand in place, and a lot of practices, you know, even if they're even if they're real early on in the process. It, I would say once they've decided that they they definitely want to pursue dental sleep, it's never too early to start to establish your brand identity and 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 really kind of stake your claim, you know, your your piece of real estate because, you know, things like website domain names are getting harder and harder to find good ones. You know, it, back in the day, the dentists that bought, you know, Dentist Dallas and DentistChicago.com and you know those those domain names they had a huge competitive advantage and sure. not only getting the good domain name which is keyword rich and matches up with searches perfectly in Google also the longer you own a domain name Google sees that they look at that how old is this domain has there been a website sitting on that domain and the more aged a domain the more authority it has with Google sure sure Gotcha. Thank you. Okay, sure. Thank Actually, you for the Mark, one other thing real quick before you launch mm -hmm. into uh, building a dedicated brand. I see a couple of questions coming through. There yeah. is a uh, questions box uh, in your task bar over, probably over towards the right. You can type your questions in there and uh, our team at DS3, Jody, Mike are, are on. They'll, they'll be able to answer some of those questions and then uh, any remaining questions, Mark, and I will try to get to uh, to all of them tonight. So please type your questions in there and we'll get to them. Mark, great. sorry, I'm finished. As Excellent. You were. Okay, no, no, that's great. Please encourage encourage the questions. I want to make sure that we're we're touching on the on the topics everyone wants to hear and getting their questions answered. So, you know, there there are a few reasons that that separate brand identity is important. Um, first is you want to position yourself in the minds of those prospective sleep patients as the expert on the topic of sleep disordered breathing. And you won't accomplish that by simply adding a page or two about sleep to your general dental practice website. That won't provide proper positioning or put the patient in the right state of mind. Um, when, when a patient comes into your office for a sleep consultation, you want them in a medical, not a dental mindset. 
because you'll be talking to them obviously about treating a medical condition, billing medical insurance. And so you don't want them thinking I'm going into a dental office. Um, so also your website must instill confidence and establish you as the go-to authority. So if your website is trying to be all things to all people, it can have the opposite effect. Let me, let me show you an example of this. Uh, a while back, I was in the middle of a real estate transaction that became more involved than I was comfortable with and realized I needed to find a real estate attorney. And since I didn't know one, I did what most people do in that type of situation. I did a Google search. And these are the results that came up. And this listing caught my eye probably because it had the five stars showing and their website's title tag there in blue says real estate law first thing. So I clicked on it and this is the page I landed on. And right away I'm thinking that's strange. Their page about real estate law says employment litigation and OSHA defense in the header. So now I'm wondering if real estate law is just an afterthought for them and they're really employment lawyers that happen to do a little real estate work on the side. So then I clicked on their services or practice areas page and saw this long laundry list. I kept scrolling down the page and almost at the bottom finally mentions real estate. Mm -hmm. And these other areas of law are so unrelated to real estate and the laws are so complex for each, it made me wonder how they can possibly be experts in real estate law along with all the rest of this. And the saying jack of all trades master and none came to mind. So I moved sure. on. So let, let's think about that concept from a patient's perspective. So when a patient gets to the point of seeking out treatment for sleep apnea, they're often desperate and frustrated and literally sick and tired, right? And they wanna find an expert to provide a solution. So let's imagine a patient in Chicago doing this search, typing that into Google, and here are the Google search results for that term. And, and, and you notice this result here at the top of that page, smile on dental salon and sleep apnea center. We also offer root canal treatments. <laughs> and reading that, many patients may wonder, wow, what, what do root canals have to do with treating sleep apnea, right? They're probably already confused enough trying to learn all these new words and get their mind around this whole sleep apnea thing without throwing that out there. And then if they do happen to click on that listing, they're taken to this website. And the confusion, mixed messaging continues. Sure. Staying along the top, a whole plethora, right? Dental services, sleep apnea, Botox. And then you hover over dental services, all this big drop down comes up. And at that point, a potential sleep patient may be thinking, wow, they sure do a lot of stuff. And much mm -hmm. of it's very unrelated. And we're back to the jack of all trades feeling like I had when I was on that attorney's website. Sure. So, you're right. Just as it was difficult to see how labor law relates to real estate law, equally difficult for a prospective patient to see how dentures or Botox relate to treating sleep apnea. Yeah. So, so when you, when a potential patient or you know any consumer encounters this, it can result in either um, some some trepidation, some maybe um, uh, a, a lack of trust to some degree. And then also, I think it can just lead to confusion and a confused patient, a confused consumer typically uh, frequently makes the choice to, to just not proceed. Exactly. And uh, of course, that results in an untreated patient uh, and a uh, missed opportunity for everyone. Great point. That's, a, that's exactly right. And, you know, also... Keep in mind that with traditional dental services, you're only competing for patients' attention with other dentists. With sleep apnea, as you'll see from this example, you're competing with a wide variety of healthcare providers. And these are just a few of the results that come up with that search, sleep apnea treatment Houston. You have a local hospital, an ENT, a neurologist, an oral surgeon, an association, and a sleep lab. So you really need to be sure that when your listing comes up in a search like this, there's nothing that would cause confusion. And like Jason said, prevent that patient from clicking on your listing because there's some confusion there. 
And let, let me show you what I mean. So here are two of the listings that show up for that sleep apnea Houston search. So a question for you. For a typical patient conducting this search, which of these two you, do you think they'd be more likely to click? SchultzSmiles.com forward slash sleep dash apnea dash snoring or HoustonSleepSolutions.com? Uh, I'm going to go with number two. <laughs> excellent. Excellent choice. I well, win. What did I win? What did I win? <laughs> Some collar space? <laughs> An oral appliance. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're both dentists. What, one of the ones I, I no longer use. <laughs> uh, but but they're, they're both dentists. <laughs> the difference is that Houston Sleep Solutions avoids any potential confusion because they've created this separate website and brand identity for sleep, okay? So with those ideas in mind, let's, let's dig into the three-step strategy for building a successful direct-to-patient sleep marketing program that positions you as the expert and enables you to be found by more prospective patients. And the first step, really the foundation is your brand um, and the first step in building that brand is selecting a name for your sleep practice. Uh, ideally, the name will contain the word sleep. And for the reasons we just covered, I don't recommend having the word dental in the name. A lot of dental practices do that. But when most people hear dental sleep, they're thinking sedation, not sleep apnea treatment. Okay. Then once you've decided on the name, you want uh, a professionally designed logo. And your logo should be clean, easy to read, and, and have a visual element that supports the fact that you're offering a solution that helps people breathe better and sleep better. Okay, next is a standalone website that's 100% dedicated to sleep disordered uh, breathing. And so, and, and, and I'll just, I'll stress that this, this is a, a website that's separate from your general dental website, okay? When a prospective patient lands on your sleep website, it needs to give them exactly what they're looking for. People are very impatient online, so you don't want to make them search for what they're seeking. Uh, you want that website to make people say, hey, that's me. That's exactly how I feel. That's what I'm experiencing. So in this example, as soon as they land on that page, they see snoring affecting your relationships, tired even after a full night's sleep. That's speaking their language right up front. And this is actually a video that plays in the background. and kind of speaks to more to her than him because let's face it, she's more likely to call and schedule a consult for him than he is. And your website really has three main goals. Uh, number one, to educate, to establish trust, and then to convert those visitors into scheduled appointments with that third being the most important. You wanna get them in the door so you can sit face to face with them, educate them, show them, and then treat them. All right, so you want your website to be informative. Um, so for example, you know, here they're seeing health issues related to untreated sleep apnea, and that, you know, hopefully gets their attention, starts to establish the fact that this isn't simply an inconvenience, it's a life-threatening disease. Hey, Mark. Uh, yes. Really quick, both that screen that you, or that slide that you just shared, in addition to this one, each of these, uh, have just a number of bullet points. Frequently when I go to dentist sleep sites, mm -hmm. there's, it's almost like a, a textbook. There's so <laughs> much clinical information and it's, uh, I understand that it's critical information, but how much information about the disease, the symptoms should be featured on the website versus something like this where you have bullet points that uh, just give uh, brief, uh, uh, brief, brief points to drive at home? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, great observation. I, you know, people, e even those who um, tend to be more um, intellectual, more researcher type mentality, even they, studies show, make decisions emotionally and then try to support their decisions with information and facts and, and all of that. So that, that's number one, you, 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 you want to keep that in mind and then you wanna give them enough information that it doesn't feel too light or too, you know, too, too, too lacking. Um, and then 
give them the opportunity to dig deeper if they want, but just kind of hit the high points. And then the other thing, and we're going to talk about video in a minute here, people are four times more likely to watch a video about a product or service than they are to read about it. People have short attention spans these days. You know, most people, in fact, over 70%, and in some cases, it's, it's more like 80, 85% of the visitors to your website will be on a mobile device, probably on their, their iPhone in most cases. And they're, you know, quickly scrolling through with their thumb. So you, you, want, to, you want to hit those high points. You don't want to overwhelm them, like you said, where it's just so text heavy that it just looks you know, oh, that's going to be a task reading through this, and they just skip through. So, got it. Good question. All right. So, you know, next they, they they come to this interactive quiz and they're they're going through checking these off. Yes, yes, yes. That's me. And now you have them engaged, and that's what you want, right? You want to pull them in. And this is a big one. If you offer home sleep tests, you want to make that clearly known. Put that front and center on your website because a lot of people aren't willing to go spend the night in a sleep lab. And by letting them know you offer an alternative, you're removing that objection. And if you're referring sleep patients to a sleep lab or a sleep physician who sends them to a sleep lab, you're definitely losing patients. And a high percentage of them don't end up receiving treatment from anyone because they never go through with the in-lab sleep test. I, I know for me personally, if home sleep testing hadn't been an option, I would probably still not know that I have apnea. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, and, and like I said, you know, a lot of buying decisions are based on emotion and feeling. And so you, you want to show them the happy ending. You want to bring them full circle and paint the picture of what life could be like and, and give them that hope. You know, like that first one, restful sleep, wake up uh, feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. As a sleep apnea sufferer, they have never or at least can't remember what it feels like to wake up refreshed and rejuvenated. Mornings aren't something they look forward to. So you want to clearly point out the benefits of receiving treatment. You can't just assume that they'll think through that and come to those conclusions on their own. Because remember, that primary goal is to get them to schedule that consultation so you can get down, get, get with them face to face. So, so this site so far, Mark, has had sort of a compelling initial introduction there has been a little bit of information about the clinical signs and symptoms mm -hmm. so that the patient can uh, read that and, and, and relate to it. They can take, they can complete that screener, that mm -hmm. self-assessment. Right. Uh, so there's some interactive portion. And then here you have this sort of uh, aspirational um, visionary view of what their future might look like if they make an, an appointment and, uh, and potentially benefit from treatment. So you've you've touched on sort of all all of those key points in this one site. Is that correct? Correct. An and, and this, this is just yes, that's that's accurate. And this is just some some screen grabs from the website. This isn't everything that that you would want on a site, but just kind of giving you some some examples. But but you're right. Helping them visualize, you know, in this case visualize a positive outcome will increase the likelihood that they call and schedule that consultation. Yeah, the site has told a story, and it's taken the patient along every ever or potential patient along every step of the way. That's right. It's sort of, there's sort of a narrative arc to it. Correct. Correct. All right. So All right. the next piece in in building a sleep brand is a Facebook page for your sleep practice. And again, this needs to be separate from your general dental. Uh, practice Facebook page. And there are a few reasons that, that Facebook is still important. Um, first, many people use Facebook as a search engine, right? So you want to have a presence so you can be found for those any sleep-related searches. Also, Facebook pages will often show up in Google searches for various search terms, so increases your visibility on Google. Also, Facebook is one of the three most important review sites, along with Google and Yelp. And Finally, a lot of people just simply expect businesses to have a professionally designed active Facebook presence. And now when I say active Facebook presence, don't think I'm saying that you need to be posting to your Facebook page every day. You know, once a week, every other week is fine. You, you just don't want to go months without any activity. Um, and, and I'm frequently asked, well, what types of things should we be posting? 
first and foremost, we encourage personalized posts. So photos, videos of your team, patients, community activities you're involved with, those are going to receive the most engagement, okay? Then you wanna supplement those posts with additional content. And let me give you a few examples from our social media library. And then this is something we put together at the request of several clients. Mark, um, and, quick, yes. quick question for you. Uh -huh. something, something that you said earlier, Okay. I thought that I heard you say that Facebook pages can show up in Google results. So just yes. to be clear, so if I searched, say, for instance, uh, Premier Sleep, I may get Steve Carstensen, Dr. Steve Carstensen's practice Facebook page. Or if I searched Go to Sleep, I might get Dr. Stacy Lehman's uh, practice Facebook page in my Google results. Is that what I'm Absolutely. hearing? Absolutely. Yes, that. And then as well as in addition to the branded searches like that, just for general search, keyword search terms, you can get. And I'll show you an example of that um, toward the end. It just, yes. to me, that high, I, I hear from a number of, I've heard from a number of dentists that when, when I bring up the importance of social media, they'll mm -hmm. say things like, oh, Facebook, you know, I, my, my wife makes me use it or, you know, <laughs> my, 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 uh, my grandkids are on that, uh, you, you know, or, or I've got a team member that posts, you know, uh, a, 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 once, once a month, something like that. But based on what you just shared about the, the Google results, I think that really highlights how beneficial uh, a, a practice social media or Facebook page could be, and especially having a library like you're about to, to show. That, that's, that's right. Vitally that's right. important. Absolutely. Um, so to date, we've created over 550 custom designed posts. And l let me give you a few examples uh, from the library of the type of content that you wanna be posting to your, your sleep practice Facebook page. So sleep specific posts, no surprise, right? Like these and these, just creating awareness and getting them interested enough to visit your website for more information. However, even on your sleep practices Facebook page, you don't want to only post about sleep-related issues and posts. You, you want to mix it up, keep it more interesting and engaging. So you can include inspirational quotes, jokes, trivia, holidays, etc. Okay. All right. And the last piece of the and, and all of yes. those posts that you just shared, Mark, or that you just showed those images there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. those are all in that that library of posts that you have available? That's correct, yeah, you just, let me Got go it. back real quick. You just, you log in and there's, you can see by category and select the category you want and then all the posts related, you can search by category or tag. Excellent. Okay. Very cool. And um, so the final piece in that branding uh, approach is, is a YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube is the second most utilized search engine after Google. It's obviously owned by Google. And so you wanna have a presence on YouTube so you can be found when prospective sleep patients are, are using uh, YouTube. And so not just like with Facebook, in addition to showing up when somebody searches right on YouTube, very often those YouTube videos will show up in Google searches. Google, let's face it, Google gives them special treatment, right? You don't see any of the other, uh, or rarely do you see any other of the video uh, sharing sites showing up in Google searches. It's almost always YouTube. Um, so, and then sometimes your, your YouTube channel itself can even show up, particularly in those branded searches we're talking about. And, and that brings up a point, and we're gonna talk about reputation uh, management in just a minute, but the more real estate you can control on the first page of Google when somebody searches your name or your practice name, the better, right? If you have control of it, if things like your Facebook page, your YouTube channel, things that you have control over are showing up, that's always a good thing, right? You have more control over, over your brand reputation. All right. so. Having these elements in place will not only create a professional sleep brand, 
right, that positions you properly in the minds of sleep patients. But let me show you another advantage, and this kind of ties together what we've just been talking about and touches on one of your, your, your observations, Jason. So shown here are the top five websites in the U.S., those that receive the most visitors, the most traffic. So having and optimizing those brand elements we just looked at gives your sleep practice a presence on the three busiest websites, okay? So your sleep website we talked about is optimized to be found on Google. The sleep branded Facebook page is optimized to obviously be found on Facebook and as we said, will often show up in Google searches and the YouTube channel provides a presence on YouTube and again, additional opportunities on Google as well. Okay, so let's, I'll pause here uh, for a couple announcements and some housekeeping. Just, just quickly, um, you know, we've talked to a lot of practices and we, we kind of touched on this at the beginning. They're, they're just getting started, uh, you know, just getting going with sleep. They're not at the point where they want to start spending big money driving traffic, but they do want to establish a brand and, and an online presence. So based on feedback requests, we created a turnkey sleep branding package. Let me show you what, what that includes. So, we help select a name for the sleep practice. We design a logo. We buy a website address or URL. We build a sleep website. We optimize that website for Google search. We host it, maintain it, and then create that branded Facebook page as well as a branded and optimized YouTube channel. So it's just a very easy, cost-effective way to be up and running with a complete professional-looking sleep brand. And we've created an, an exclusive program and a pricing discount that's only available to, quote, friends, right, of DS3. So it includes everything in that branding package, as well as full access to our social media library, over 550 posts. And you can also use those posts on your general practices, Facebook or Instagram pages, right? They're not just for, for sl your sleep uh, Facebook page. And as you see, no setup fees, no contract, just $350 a month. And we've created a page for it. You can visit dentalsleepmarketing.com forward slash DS3 uh, to learn more about that, um, that special offer and package. And now I'll turn it over to you, Jason. For Thanks, Mark. And, and I'm, I'm glad that uh, I'm thrilled that you shared that, uh, that offer just a moment ago, because we had, there are several questions that were coming in from people asking about what your fees are and what oh, you okay. charge. And it's uh, it's kind of funny because there were a couple of specific numbers thrown out as in, so does this cost X dollars to start up and X dollars per month? And uh, those X's, what uh, some of these people were estimating per month is more than it costs for this special offer for a year. So oh, wow. great, great opportunity and it's cool to see. So either you've, dramatically uh, underpriced and undervalued what you provide, <laughs> or you're just providing a tremendous value to, uh, to, to the people joining us tonight. So be sure to check that out. Also, those of you that are on here, your CE certificate will be emailed to you in the next 48 hours. Occasionally this ends up in spam or junk folders. So check there if you don't have it by uh, Thursday when you go to bed but uh, those will likely be emailed tomorrow. Uh, worst case scenario, they'll be emailed on, on Thursday, but you'll have those in the next 48 hours. Also, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and uh, type in your questions in the question field and Mark will get to all of those tonight. And then we have another webinar coming up in two weeks. It's going to be with uh, one of my mentors, Dr. Richard Drake, over there on the left, and uh, Dr. Mark Murphy, who is someone who I just uh, uh, also learned a tremendous amount from as far as uh, interpersonal relationship skills. And they'll be presenting, Shift Happens, Are All Herbsts Created Equal? Uh, that'll be on Tuesday, the 27th, so that's two weeks from tonight. In your follow-up email, there will be a link for you to register so you can get registered now and then you'll re receive a reminder email from us uh, about when it's time to log in. So be there. And then uh, we also have a number of upcoming courses. These are day and a half live courses. We just added several dates. Uh, St. Augustine, Florida is filling up fast. Uh, we've got, uh, I don't know, whatever that is, eight or 10 more dates this year. 
These are day and a half. Uh, tuition is $9.95. That includes your own custom oral appliance, your own home sleep test, 14 hours of CE, meals, and uh, a team member is included there as well. And really, I've attended hundreds, if not thousands of hours of dental sleep CE over the past 15 years. And this course is one of the most pragmatic, beneficial courses I've ever attended. It focuses almost exclusively on just the patient journey, the end-to-end the -end workflow in the office. It's not at a high level, it's a deep dive. You know, this is how you screen your patient. This is how the, this is what the conversation sounds like with the patient when they screen positively. This is how you discuss sleep testing with them. This is what that process looks like, et cetera. So very uh, uh, comprehensive, uh, nuts and bolts. This is what this looks like, practical course. If you type in course in the questions box today, uh, Jody, Brandy, or Mike will contact you tomorrow, get you registered for one of these courses, and will knock $200 off the tuition. So you get everything that I just mentioned uh, for $7.95. So type in course in the questions box. We'll get you registered tomorrow for one of these upcoming events. Speaking of upcoming events, um, Mark, I know that uh, you'll be at the symposium in February as yeah. will each of these speakers. Um, you know, heck, Mark, I could tell everybody about what an amazing event this is, but you've been there uh, the last couple of years. Why don't you tell everybody about your experience? Yeah, I mean, without a doubt, because I've been to a lot of courses, a lot of, uh, you know, lectures, a lot of events uh, around uh, dental sleep, without question. And, and Trust me, I'm not just saying this because Jason's on the line here. Without question, this is the best uh, course. And, and that's not just me. That's feedback that, that from our clients uh, who have attended. Uh, it's just there is so much real-world information that you can take and apply in your practice the next week. It's not a lot of theory. It's not a lot of, you know, uh, uh, you know, here's what we think would work or here's how we, we would suggest doing this. These are hands-on practitioners who are in the trenches. This is what's working. Here's how we do it. And you get to hear from so many different perspectives and approaches that you're able to take, you know, the nuggets that uh, uh, really would apply to you. And, and like I said, just very actionable. Um, so, I mean, e even, even as a, as a non-clinician, I sit through those, lectures and I just I learned so much well mark you're uh, gonna make so. me blush but uh, so Aaron Elliott John Remmers Guy Yatros Jill Levine Steve Carstensen Jill Umbrello Mark Murphy Jameson Spencer I mean you can see the names there yeah, topics the ranging truth. from from pediatric OSA to uh, device selection to physician uh, uh, relationships it's really we've got a veritable who's who here of dental sleep and we just today finalized our uh, keynote speaker for 2020 and uh, you'll have to register to find out who it is so <laughs> if you're not registered get signed up it's on the beach it's in Clearwater Florida it's That's in February so it's a beautiful, beautiful venue, beautiful time of year to be in clear water, miserable time of year to be pretty much anywhere else in the U.S. So get <laughs> registered, ds3sleep.com forward slash symposium, uh, get registered. And then finally, um, there's, I'm looking at who's, who's with us tonight, and there are a lot of DS3 members on. So these are people that are taking advantage of the education, the coaching, the software and support that we provide to dentists all over the country. Um, if you need any help at all with screening, with testing, with treating, or being reimbursed, getting paid for medical insurance um, in your practice, type consult 
Jody, Mike, or Brandy will give you a shout tomorrow. Um, just type in consult and uh, they'll set up a time to, to speak with you. They're not going to twist your arm. They're not going to pressure you to buy anything. They're going to find out more about where you are with dental sleep in your practice, what hurdles you're, you're facing. And then they're just going to help troubleshoot some of those. Hopefully we have some solutions. It costs, our, our solutions cost a heck of a lot less than you think. Um, DS3, everything that we provide, the education, coaching, software, support, so you can uh, uh, screen test, treat and bill, costs less than the lab fee for an oral appliance. So type in consult, we'll talk to you tomorrow. And with that said, Mark, I'm gonna hand this baton off to you and run. Run. All right. So running on to step thir two of three here in the process. Um, you know, so the first step again was those core branding elements. The next is to build out supporting assets that will increase awareness and, and expand your digital presence to enable you to be found by more sleep patients. And one of the most important is a Google My Business listing, often called GMB. So a GMB listing and right under the ads on the first page of a Google search result page is something called the local pack and I've put a red box around it here this is prime real estate okay on, on Google and the only way you show up here is by having a GMB listing with very few exceptions your general practices GMB listing will not show up in this local pack when someone conducts sleep related searches in your area. So you need to establish a separate GMB listing just for sleep. And your listing must be fully optimized. You wanna fill out every section, uh, address, phone, hours, et cetera, and you need to link it to your sleep website, okay? Now I will say you do need a separate phone number, okay, and a separate practice name, because if you use your same, your general practice name and or phone number or address, uh, Google will quite possibly flag that and either merge it into your general practice GMB listing or just delete it. And with the address, you can just, you know, if, if you're sweet, uh, you know, if, if, if you don't have a sweet number, you can just put sweet one and just add that to your address. And that's enough of a difference, but you definitely want to have a separate phone number. So if you have a, a phone line you're not using, or you can always set up a call tracking phone number uh, to, to claim your Google uh, business GMB listing for your sleep practice. And then be sure and upload several photos, your office, doc, the doctor, your team. Um, Google also allows you to upload photos uh, in that videos or in that, uh, or, I'm sorry, they allow you to upload videos in that photos section and that video auto plays and really grabs attention. And according to Google research, businesses with photos receive 42% more requests for driving directions and 35% more clicks through to their website. So um, definitely want to add some photos uh, to that listing. And another great way to enhance your listing and get a lot of additional visibility is to add what are called Google Posts. And they're almost like an ad or, or an announcement. And they allow you to highlight a service or an offer or upcoming event. And these posts show up in your Google business listing. And they can be still images or videos. And as you can see, they can receive a lot of views. And you're not paying for views or clicks from your posts. So this isn't paid advertising. It's just a great opportunity to get a lot of additional visibility without paying for advertising. All right. And, and Google's been, go ahead. Jeff, and this question. is something, this is something, Mark, that anybody on this, this, this webinar tonight is capable of doing themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. You just go and, and, you know, Google how to, how to set up a GMB or Google, Google business listing, and it'll walk you through. You do have to verify it either through a postcard or a phone call to the office. And you can absolutely uh, do that yourself and then go through and just fill it all out and upload photos, etc. Okay. Thank you. And Google has been giving that local pack more and more importance. So, so these listings can generate a lot of phone calls. Um, you know, we, we create a uh, tracking dashboard uh, for, for our clients and 
one of the metrics we track is the number of calls and the requests for driving directions from their Google business listing. And you can see here, here are the numbers for one of our clients during a 30 day period. So they received over 1600 views and 23 calls from their sleep practice Google listing. And here are snapshots of two more uh, sleep clients. One of them received 16 calls and the other had 40 calls from their sleep listing that month. And these are calls that are in addition to the calls coming in from their website. And these are calls they would not have received if we hadn't established that standalone Google listing for their sleep practice. Okay, and then next, while, while Google is the most important uh, of the directory listings, having a separate sleep brand allows you to create listings on all of these other key directories and doing so increases your chances of being found because in some cases people will search right on that directory the website or the app and other times that directory feeds data to a search engine or into other apps so you want to claim and optimize a listing for your sleep practice on all of the leading directories and then patient reviews um, you know a, a large often referenced survey uh, found that over eight out of 10 people said they trust reviews from a complete stranger on the internet as much as a recommendation from a friend, family member, coworker. So <laughs> people put a lot of weight into those reviews, a lot more than they probably should, quite honestly. Um, and let me, I'm gonna skip that uh, survey. And l l let, me, let me ask you this, if a patient did a Google search for sleep apnea treatment near them and these three listings showed up in the local pack, which do you think they'd be most likely to click? Jason, I think you're the Are, only one with <laughs> who's uh, not muted. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the uh, which one were they most likely to pick? Uh, probably three. Good answer. Man, I didn't even plan that. <laughs> and it's obvious as to why, right? They have a star rating, so those stars caught your eye. Now, a similar search shows a few different practices showing up. Now, Texas Sleep Solutions has moved from the number three to the number one spot. So, same question. Which of these three do you think someone may be most likely to, to click? Still Texas Sleep Solutions? Sure. Are you sure? Final answer? <laughs> well, you just switched game shows mid, uh, mid stream on me. <laughs> Possibly this one, right? Because the only thing that changed is this one came in the picture and they have a lot more reviews and a little bit higher star rating. So just kind of illustrates the, the, the effect that patient reviews can have. Sure. All right, so I'm going to, um, let's, let's talk about video real quick. This is an interesting uh, statistic. Cisco, the big technology company, they predicted that by the year 2021, 82% of all internet traffic will be video. I don't know how accurate that prediction will turn out to be, but if it's anywhere close to that number, the practices with a lot of quality video content are going to have a huge competitive advantage. And for the sake of time, I'm going to skip ahead. And while you're while you're skipping ahead, I also is it is it correct that most people watch video without sound, Mark? On Facebook. Yes, on that's Facebook. that's accurate. Okay. On Facebook, 80% of all videos watch without sound, so you want captioning at the bottom. Gotcha. Okay, and, and there are several types of videos you can create. Meet the doctor, meet the team, what to expect during the consult, patient testimonials. Uh, this is a great one on the lower right there, um, explaining how to use the home sleep testing unit, right? Just a nice little added touch. That, that patient, they, they go home with that unit, and now they get an email in their inbox. Hey, let me walk you through how to use it. Just, you know, help, just a nice helpful touch. And there are, a lot of people think, oh, I gotta you know, have a videographer come in, shut down my office for a day, big production. There are more convenient, less expensive alternatives to having that, taking that approach. Um, we, for example, we developed a process where our videographer is able to direct the video shoot remotely. We ship everything out, that's needed, all the gear. And our videographer controls everything from lighting and sound and can even scroll a teleprompter. So if the doctor wants to provide a script ahead of time, they can have that scrolling and they're just reading it just like a television news anchor. 
And he coaches the doctor through the entire shoot in real time. Then he's able to instantly download the video files so he can edit them. And this works great for Meet the Doctor, Q&A style videos, and the video quality is excellent. Um, so with steps one and two in place, the next piece is to really promote, really to kind of, uh, uh, you know, increase the push uh, to get your message in front of more potential sleep patients. And one very effective low cost way to do that is to show up in Google searches organically, or in other words, make it easy for patients to find you without having to pay for each time they click. And we looked at a Google search, the top you have the ads and the red box is the uh, local pack we looked at. And then below that is what's called the organic section. And this is where organic optimization comes in. Uh, so that's when your website, your videos, your directory listings, your Facebook page show up without you paying for advertising, okay? So in addition to not having to pay for the clicks like you do with advertising, another advantage is even if you stop organic optimization, it'll continue to work for you well into the future, okay? And there are two types of optimization. First is what happens on your website, okay, itself. There are certain things that are added to the code of the website. So this is called on-page optimization. It's happening on your site. Most of it isn't visible to anyone but Google. However, there are certain things like title tags shown here in green and description tags in yellow that do show up to a searcher on Google. Um, and then the other type of optimization happens off of your website. For example, establishing directory listings or getting other websites to, to link to your website. Okay, and the competitiveness in your market determines how difficult it is to gain significant organic visibility in Google. Um, for example, here the search term sleep apnea treatment Chicago has three and a half million results. So that means that Google found and associated three and a half million web pages with that search term. Whereas the same search for Dubuque has only 41,000 results. So much less competitive and therefore much easier, faster process to gain organic positioning in Google if your office is in Dubuque versus if you were in Chicago. All right, I'm gonna skip over online advertising. I think that that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, just for, for time's sake, sorry to give you this uh, whiplash here of the, because I, 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 wanna, I wanna be able to, uh, to talk about video marketing, because that's, that's kind of unique. Um, so earlier we talked about creating video content and the growing importance of video, but simply having high quality video isn't enough. You need a strategy for promoting your videos. Too many practices spend the money and time and create great looking video, but they don't properly optimize it. And they end up getting so few views that they receive no value from the video. Um, we see this all the time. You can see this search uh, in Atlanta. These two videos come up. One of them had 14 views in two years and the others had no views in the three weeks it's been up. So creating a video and not optimizing it is, is not gonna do you any good. It's like, it's like creating a, a TV commercial and then not buying any airtime to show it. Mm -hmm. And this is that video that only had 14 views in two years, running it through some video optimization software we use, you can see it only has a rating of 11 out of 100. So it's just poorly optimized. Now, uh, let's look at an example from DS3's very own Dr. Drake. So he recorded some video footage himself. He sent it to us, we edited it, ran it through our, we have a 16 point video optimization process. And as you can see here, within one week, his video is number one organically for the term snoring San Antonio. And that's not a small market, as you know. And it's had 87 views in a week. And that was all organic, no paid advertising. And if you, for comparison's sake, this video that he did on the wellness hour four years ago has had 94 views. Okay, so that just illustrates the importance of not only creating video, but properly optimizing it so you get the value, the full value out of it. And this just, this will be the last thing I'll say about video. This is just, this is the results of a video marketing campaign we ran for uh, a sleep client of ours. You can see the three months prior to the video marketing versus the three months after. And this is from Google Analytics data. 
website visitors were up 48 percent so an additional 458 prospective sleep patients to the website in three months that's very significant so and again that's all without any paid advertising all right so i hope this has helped you visualize how having that proactive comprehensive approach can be a, a game changer for your practice and again um, if you'd like a turnkey low-cost way to create a sleep brand go to dentalsleepmarketing.com forward slash ds3 and from there or on our main site you can sign up if you'd like to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, talk about your market your goals uh, you just brainstorm some things um, you can schedule time right on my calendar to do that and uh, I, with that I'll turn it back to you Jason to wrap us up yeah thanks again everyone for being here um, Mark thank you for contributing your insights every uh, every issue uh, of the dental sleep medicine insider for those of you that don't subscribe currently that is our quarterly online magazine it features uh, insights and editorials from everyone from Mark Fowler to Dr. Keith Thornton to Dr. Guy Yatros and uh, just a veritable who's who of, of dental sleep medicine once again and you can subscribe for free just go to dentalsleepinsider.com or there will be a brief survey that will pop up when this webinar concludes and you can just there will be a question in there about whether or not you want a uh, a subscription you can just uh, enter it in there and we'll get you subscribed and you'll get these issues in the future uh, mark shares a lot of insights like he did tonight in that uh, in those issues the next one's coming out next month and then we also have a uh, earlier i shared all of those upcoming courses we do have an upcoming billing course uh, mark if you could uh, flip through there real quick oh yes uh, we've got a uh, first time doing this my colleague at uh, ds3 lisa fisher hurt will be uh, hosting this medical billing course it's uh, coming up on October 5th uh, that is the day after our premier study club which uh, used to be referred to as the member meeting but that's free for ds3 members and a couple of team members and then the following day uh, while you're down in florida you can uh, register for the uh, the uh, dental sleep billing for success course that lisa will be leading um, it's 495 for ds3 members and uh, i think it's 595 for uh, non ds3 members but you can get registered if you type billing now they'll get you registered tomorrow you'll save 50 bucks off tuition and then also last chance to type in consult uh, to, or to get your questions answered if you have any questions they don't have to just be about software they needn't just be about marketing but anything dental sleep related type in consult mike jody or brandy will give you a shout tomorrow and uh try to get your your uh get you the help that you need and then uh lastly you're all thanks for hanging out with us tonight we appreciate you um mark will hang out for another 10 minutes if you have any other questions please type your questions in mark will answer them now and uh to everyone else that's got to jump off Thanks for spending your Tuesday evening with us. Thanks for your dedication to your patients, for your uh, emphasis on continual improvement, and uh, have a great Tuesday night. Mark, thank you. Hang out for a couple more minutes just to answer some more questions. Is that all right? Happy, happy to. You don't have anything else going on. You're just going to no. go uh, figure out I which can't... device you're going to wear tonight. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dig through the drawer yeah yeah uh mark you talked about uh, uh the the importance of a video quite a bit and you breezed through the um uh, uh the the video promotion piece can you just talk about that a little bit more yeah th yeah thanks i i, I didn't want to you know i wanted to I was try rambling to time. too much I, yeah, I, no i i always just put too much in there i just think oh that, that'd be good too <laughs> throw too much in but um, so the approach we take we, we actually have a, a as I said a 16 point checklist and so 
we, we take the video, obviously edit it. Then just, just to give you an example, in, in a typical uh, marketing strategy, we will upload it to a branded YouTube channel. We'll optimize that particular video for those search terms. We'll tag it, do all the things on the back end that you do to optimize on YouTube. Then we have that video transcribed. Then we'll create a page on the Sleep website and we add the, the link or, or the embedded, we embed that video off of YouTube. Then we paste the transcription into that same page. Then we optimize that page for the search terms relative to the video. And that is giving Google exactly what they want. They love YouTube, they love video content, and they wanna see fresh relevant content, keyword rich, et cetera, on the website. Then we also utilize it on Google business listing, Facebook page, and then if the practice wants to run any ads, we can slice it up and create a variety of video ads to run on YouTube, Facebook, or uh, 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 any other platform. Gotcha, gotcha. And and Mark, I mean, I don't want to turn this into a, a commercial for Bullseye Media, but I'm I'm uh, a huge ambassador of of what you all do because, like I mentioned with Dr. Williamson or even in Dr. Yatros's practice, uh, the, the uh, changes, positive changes you've made there, I've seen it work. So um, a question that I have for you is, I mean, mm -hmm. how much guidance, how much coaching, how much of this heavy lifting does the team at Bullseye Media manage versus, you know, just guidance and saying, go get them, doctor? <laughs> yeah, well, we we really i mean we we do have a, a very experienced team and we try to take everything off of the doctor's plate that we possibly can um and and what i mean by that l let's say a practice comes in and wants a sleep website um, we will do everything from writing new content designing it we'll, we'll buy the domain name for them um we, we do everything the only things we can't do would be like hey we need photos of your office of you doctor we need your bio and we always recommend you may you, you probably want to tweak your your traditional bio a little bit to include some of your sleep experience you know any designations things like that um, so but other than that we will do everything for the practice um, if, if it's if you know if they want help setting up their Google business listing, we will literally get on the phone with their front desk and say, okay, we're going to submit it right now and you're going to be getting a call from Google, right? So let's hang up, take that call, write down that PIN number, and then call us right back. And then we get on the back end and set it all up. And so we, we, we really, it, it's not just guidance or, you know, a, 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 a teach you to do it yourself approach. It's, we actually do the, as you said, the, the, the heavy lifting, because that's not that's not your area. You know, that's not most doctors' area of expertise or interest. And dentistry, and, and especially sleep dentistry, pays a heck of a lot better than claiming directory listings. <laughs> as as you know. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Mark, can you do me a favor again? I, I loathe to turn this into a, a bullseye media commercial, but would you mind, someone just asked about uh, your special offer again. Would you go back to your slide that uh, oh boy. Okay, shows see. everything that's included there? Yeah, let's see if I can get back there. There we go. So, okay. so can you just walk us through one more time what this, this uh, package entails? Okay. Um, first of all, I will say this: if if someone just called us out of the blue and didn't say DS3, this would not even be an option. So this is only this is exclusively DS3. Um, you know, as I say, friends of DS3. Um, so it gets you a domain name. So we will we will well first we'll help you select a, a, a name for the sleep practice if you don't already have that picked out. Then we'll go out and research what's the best domain name um, for for that, and, and, a, and a domain name is just the website address, you know, whatever, uh, you know, sleepwell, whatever city, etc. dot com. Then we will build the website. We we also optimize the website when we're building it from the ground up. We're optimizing it for Google, 
all the title tags, description tags, site maps, all the all the geeky coding that goes in, on in the background. We do all of that. Then we host the site. And, and w w when I say hosting, a lot of people think, oh yeah, you know, I, I set up a, Go a, a website once on GoDaddy. We do not put sites on those $10 a month hosting platforms. We have three private servers that only our clients sit on. And, and, and just to give you an idea of the difference, these servers, we, we, we spend about $2,100 a month just on those servers. So this isn't some cheap you know, hosting. So th those servers make the sites load faster. They, they give daily backups ton of added security, those types of things. And then we also maintain the site on an ongoing basis. So any changes, et cetera. And then we, we, we design a logo and then we use that logo obviously on the website as well as creating a branded Facebook page that, cause you want your, you want your overall brand to be consistent across all the properties and the same with the YouTube channel. And then the, the big uh, differences with, um, uh, with the DS3 special program, we've included that social library. So um, that's a that's a nice one because a lot of people, you know, they get the Facebook page and they're like, well, I don't really have anybody in the office that's, you know, willing or able to take this on, and I sure don't have time to do it. So what do I do? So we we've included that that library, which normally is not included in our sleep branding package. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, it really. To, to anyone that's, uh, to everyone that's still hanging out and just heard this, that is a bonkers offer. Um, so, Dr., uh, I don't want to butcher your last name, Duran just typed, wow, that is awesome. And, I mean, it's true. Uh, a website build alone, I mean, it's, I've, 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 you know, my background is, is largely in marketing and uh, this really is just a phenomenal offer. And Mark, you know, I'm thrilled. Uh, I appreciate you taking time out of your Tuesday to share this. I appreciate you putting all this information together. I appreciate your, uh, uh, just all of your knowledge and experience. I appreciate your friendship and, and uh, thanks for being here tonight. And one more time, dentalsleepmarketing.com forward slash DS3. And how do they get in touch with you if they want to schedule a consult? Can there's, you share a, that one more time? there's a blue button on that uh, page. They just uh -huh. click that button. It'll take them right to my calendar. And then they can pick a time that works best for their schedule for us to get on the phone and answer their specific questions or talk about their market or their needs specifically. Their Excellent. Goals. Excellent. Well, thank you again, Mark. And, and to everyone that uh, hung out with us a little late, thank you. Uh, feel free to contact us at DS3, ds3sleep.com. We'll see you on the next webinar on the 27th, two weeks from tonight when uh, Mark Murphy and Richard Drake discussed, uh, discuss, uh, when shift happens, are all herps created equal? So we'll see you then and uh, have a great evening. Take care. Thank you for having me. Take care, everyone. Good night, Mark. Good night.